seen in many TV documentaries and linking major Japanese cities and tourist hotspots. The Tokaido Shinkansen is arguably one of the most iconic trains in Japan. But did you know that the entire Shinkansen network, stretching from Hokkaido in the north to Kyushu in the south, is made up of a total of nine lines, adding up to a total of more than 2,600 kilometers of track just for the Shinkansen network alone. Hey my friends, this is Ken here from Japanese Train and Travel. Now, over the years, I've had the opportunity to ride many trains in the land of the rising sun. Today, I'm going to show you the evolution and history of Japan's infamous Shinkansen rail network. Now, if you like what you see, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on Japanese trains. The history of the Shinkansen began with the opening of the Tokaido Line on October 1, 1964, just before the Tokyo Summer Olympics. The line would connect two of Japan's most busiest cities, Tokyo and Osaka, via the cities of Nagoya and the former capital of Japan, Kyoto. Following the success of the Tokaido Shinkansen, a new line began construction. And on March 15, 1972, the Sanyo Shinkansen opened its first phase, connecting Osaka with the city of Okayama in the west. Okayama wouldn't remain the terminal for long. Construction continued further west, and on March 10, 1975, the Sanyo Shinkansen line was completed, adding the cities of Hiroshima and the terminal of Hakata on the island of Kyushu to the Shinkansen network. Meanwhile, in the eastern part of Japan, railways were facing stiff competition from the airline industry, and thus construction began on another Shinkansen line, connecting the cities of Omiya in Saitama with the city of Morioka in the north. This would become the first phase of the Tohoku Shinkansen. The Tohoku line boasts some of the fastest trains on the network, with trains like the E5 series seen here, reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour on certain stretches. 1982 would see the completion of yet another Shinkansen line. On November 15th, the Joetsu Shinkansen opened for business, connecting Omiya with the city of Nigita and Takasaki. The soon-to-be-retired double-decked E4 series Shinkansen seen here are one of three trains that currently serve on this line. On March 14, 1985, the Joetsu and Tohoku Shinkansen reached Ueno Station in Tokyo. Ueno would be the first and only underground station on the entire Shinkansen network. Six years later, the lines would finally connect with the Tokaido line at Tokyo Station. In July of 1992, the first stage of the Yamagata Shinkansen opened between Tokyo and Fukushima. And later, in 1999, the line was further extended to Shinjo in the prefecture of Yamagata. On March 22, 1997, a new Shinkansen line branching from the Tohoku line was created. The E6 series train seen here branch off from the Tohoku line at Morioka and travel at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour to their final destination at Akita. Ahead of the 1998 Winter Olympics, the Shinkansen was extended to Nagano from Takasaki. And in 2002, the Tohoku Shinkansen was extended to Hachihinoe on the eastern coast of Japan. The island of Kyushu would see the completion of the first stage of its own Shinkansen. In March 2004, the line was completed between Kagoshima in the south and Shin Yatsushiro in Kumamoto City. In December of 2010, 
the Tohoku Shinkansen reached the most northerly point on the island of Honshu, reaching Shin Aomori Station. And in the following year, the Kyushu Shinkansen to Hakata was finally completed. In order to promote tourism on Japan's west coast, the Nagano Shinkansen was extended westward. In 2015, the Shinkansen reached the cities of Toyama and Kanazawa. The line itself was renamed the Hokuriku Shinkansen, and currently the beautiful E7 series trains operate on this route. Thanks to the opening of the Seiken Tunnel, in March of 2016, the Hokkaido Shinkansen made its debut, connecting Shin Aomori with the city of Hakodate. It was now possible to travel from Tokyo on the Tohoku Line all the way through to Hokkaido in the north. And this, my friends, brings us to the current day Shinkansen network, with nine lines divided among five JR groups. And over the next 15 to 20 years, this map will continue to change, with many Shinkansen projects under construction. One of the biggest projects right now is the Chuo Shinkansen, a maglev that will connect Tokyo with the city of Nagoya. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please remember to click like and subscribe to this channel for more videos on Japanese trains.